Excel has been rolling out a ton of new functions, but the new sorting functions are a true game changer when it comes to analyzing data in Excel. In this video, we'll dive into how to sort data using the new sort and sort by functions, highlight the differences between the two, and go over how to calculate powerful insights using these two new functions. So grab a cup of coffee and get ready to sort through these functions together step by step. So let's get started. Here we have sales data and we want to sort this data from highest to lowest sale amount to easily see who had the top sales. Instead of adding the sort and filter toggles to the data set and sorting the data manually, we can use Excel's new sorting functions, sort and sort by. First, let's take a look at how the sort function works. To sort this data set using the sort function, select the cell where you want the sorted data to appear, enter the sort function, and now we need to select the data we want to sort as the array argument. Next, we need to enter the sort index, which is the column within the data that we want to sort by. We want to sort the data by the sale amount, so we need to enter a four as the sort index because we are sorting the data by the fourth column. Lastly, we need to enter the sort order argument, which determines how to sort the data. A sort order of one sorts the values in ascending order, while a sort order of negative one sorts the values in descending order. We want to sort the sales from highest to lowest, so we need to enter a negative one as the sort order argument to sort the values in descending order. Now we can just enter the function to sort the data. Now you might be wondering, Emma, how is this better than using the sort and filter toggle? I personally think the sort function is one of the most powerful functions in Excel for multiple reasons. The first is that the function is dynamic. So if Chad Lang just made a huge sale and we updated the data, he is automatically bumped up to the top of the data set. Second, you can combine the sort function with the dynamic array functions to quickly return powerful insights, such as top five sales, the representative with the lowest sale amount, etc. For example, to return the top five sales in this data, we can wrap this function in the take function and then enter a five as the rows argument to return the first five rows in the sorted array. Last but certainly not least, we can sort the data using the sort by function. The sort by function sorts an array based on the values in another array. This function also allows you to perform an advanced sort by sorting data by multiple arrays. For example, here we have the same data, but now let's sort from highest to lowest sale using the sort by function instead. To sort this data using sort by, select the cell where you want the sorted data to appear, enter the sort by function, and once again, we need to select the data we want to sort as the array argument. Now this time, we need to enter the array we want to sort the data by as the by array one argument. We want to sort this data by the sales value, so I'm going to select column E as by array one. Next, we need to enter the sort order one argument, which works the exact same as the sort functions order argument. So I'm going to enter a negative one to sort the sales values in descending order and then enter the function. As you can see, we have now sorted this data from highest to lowest sale amount using the sort by function. I'm not sure if you notice this when entering the sort by function, but you can continuously enter by array and sort order arguments to sort the data by multiple arrays. For example, let's say we want to sort this data by highest to lowest sales by region. So we want to see the Western region sales from highest to lowest, the Northern region sales from highest to lowest, and so on. To accomplish this using sort by, Select the data as the array argument, and now we need to select the first array that we want to sort the data by. We want each region sale to be sorted from high to low, so I'm going to select the region column first, and then enter a one as the sort order argument to sort this data by region. Let's just enter this really quick so you can see how this sorted the data. As you can see here, we've successfully sorted the data by region, and now we just have to sort each region by sales. So I'm going to go back into the formula bar, select the sales column as the by array two argument, and then enter a negative one as the sort order two argument to sort this data again by descending sales. Now we can just enter the function 
And as you can see here, each region's sales are now sorted from highest to lowest. And to top it off, you can probably already guess this by now, but this function is also dynamic, so if any of these values change, the results automatically update. To wrap up, we learned how to utilize the dynamic sort and sort by functions to quickly sort our data. Which function do you like better? Let me know in the comments below. As always, if you found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more.